Hello and welcome everyone, it is me the Lava, also known as the Portudus, back for you with another episode on the Moftronic Rank Guide. Uh, last week was an unfortunate one. We sadly deranked and kind of have to start over a bit on our journey. But, as mentioned at the end of that episode, um, I was expecting, you know, some issues around this uh, time um so yeah we'll just you know dust ourselves off jump right back into it and see what we can do this is uh, still going to be the uh, same list as uh, last week or like the last couple of weeks by now um so yeah let's uh, get into a couple of games we'll probably to kind of address that you know huge thanks on the um on the feedback uh, on that one community post where i was kind of asking about the formatting about this one um, since, you know, we are, of course, slow to make progress uh, from now on. To maybe leave some longer, leave the games in a bit more and, you know, um, kind of explain, leave a bit more of my explanations and reasons why I'm doing certain plays when in. Um, but, of course, you know, doing a bit less games overall. I mean, this is, this is just crazy. To be fair, I feel like this is, this, I feel like this is a, so, you know, start of course with a gadget gamer. Go ahead, normal summon gadget gamer, activate the effect, grabbing a copy of Morphtronic Telephonia. Gadget gamer next uh, to put this telephone on the board. I'm thinking, do we? I mean, to be fair, we can do, we can do attack position. Um, since we can just uh, convert her for a cell phone here if anything mm, yeah we don't make power tool yet we go converter first stack the telephone to the top and summon the cell phone uh, trigger the cell phone here to reveal a couple of cards here which of course will net us the telephone back then I think we'll make a quick link Rebo before we go into any further place here just so we get that cell phone in the grave and can go telephone here to summon that cell phone back uh, from here we can indeed make power to it kind of just going through you know I'd, I'd say this is like the, the easy part of, you know, every Morphtronic combo, you know, uh, starting off Gadget Game Alliance usually will get you to a, you know, Power to Dragon rather fast. Um, you, I think you can hold the Converter there and then maybe look to uh, Machine Dupe Telephone, um, but I think Cellphone just does so much more um, than, you know, just looping, especially when you're not playing as many links, um, then you just don't get as much value out of, you know, getting those multiple telephones in rotation. But that is, of course, you know, uh, very build dependent, uh, depending on what, you know, your extra deck is looking like, which is, you know, what usually uh, is uh, what differentiates Moftronic decks from each other. And otherwise, making a Phoenix here, uh, so that we get uh, something into the graveyard to banish for the remote in here. Uh, I'm thinking we'll just grab a another telephone, right? Yeah. I think we'll just grab a telephone here. Uh, fire the cell phone. Could have fired the power to dragon like five years ago. Um, but I'm kind of just refusing to do that, I guess. Um, but I am never punished which is nice. Uh, so we go power to dragon here. We'll put these two into an earphone. I think we'll do, do a very quick and simple setup here. Uh, we don't do anything with the earphone, but I think we'll use this telephone here to roll a six. Uh, I'm thinking we could go for like a remote in here. Um, could also be kind of cute, especially since we can access some cross starters just uh, Revive the um, the telephone again. 
so that we have that live, which would be very nice. Uh, so we can go Excel Stardust here. Uh, use the Excel Stardust. For Telephone. I'm thinking we... Do we grab another smartphone here? Could be kind of neat, I assume. So let's just, you know, do that while we're at it. Uh, banish the cell phone here. Um, usually, banishing cell phones looks, of course, very weird. Um, but once you've, like, gone through machine dupe lines, you most likely will need only one in rotation since you have so many ways of recurring it. Um, not to mention, you know, there's still a telephones actively in play. Uh, I'm not playing Dawn Dragster on this list anymore, am I? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, this is the problem when you're playing an IRL list with Dawn Dragster and a Master Duel list with Baron de Fleur. Um, in that case, I think we just make Apple also first. Just to get some zones freed up. Uh, even if this is a bit crusty. Um, but this way we do at least have some space on the board again. And also some monsters in the grave. Uh, since we do have a bunch of extenders in hand to uh, make further plays happen. So, you know, that's always nice. That's a one. Uh, yeah, it's been a hot minute. So let's go telephone for telephone. We can uh, summon Braver here with the used telephone and use the Braver effect to, of course, equip a bunch of equip spells, uh, specifically the Metal Silver Armor, the Raptorness Supreme Magic Blade, um, or the Super Magic Sword of Raptorness. I'm still on the I think initial OCG translation of that card for like I'll probably you know, slip up once or twice again saying like wrapped in a supreme magic blade instead, um, since that's like what uh, when that stuff initially came out I was like doing a bit of testing with like a you know like an immortal phoenix gear freedom of Tronics because uh, you know you played a lot of equips and you could technically uh, put the phoenix gear freed on the board rather easily, um, which was kind of cool. Uh, are we going for, I mean, to be fair, does it even matter at this point? <laughs> we're making every negate in the game. <laughs> uh, we're going to beast here with the telephone and the earphone. Um, looking to find out how I maybe add a Baron the Fleur to this board. But I'm also very content with the Crystal Wing. If we reveal a level 4 here, we don't hit anything, which is a bummer. Um, I think that's why we go for the smartphone here. Uh, we take the remote out of the grave here. Summon the smartphone. Activate the smartphone. Roll a 1. That is not great. Um... I think we just make IP. We could make make a lot happen here, but I'm very content at the moment with this, uh, how this board is looking. Yeah, banish smartphone for smartphone. That's usually something I really like doing, um, since that way you don't need to take like telephones or cell phones out of rotation, uh, since you do have, you know, as mentioned previously, uh, when I was talking about, you know, banishing cell phones for um, the remoten, since you do have so much graveyard access in this deck, uh, you really mostly need like one, if not two copies of, you know, those monsters in the graveyard um, to really like, you know, keep things going. But I am very content with this, honestly. We have an IP Mascarena at our disposal. We will equip this earphone to the Braver Dragon. Now, it can even be so funny and maybe stack the top deck, but uh, I think we'll just uh, use the Linker Rebo here. Uh, turn that smartphone into a Link Rebo. And if our opponent has evenly, or opponent has evenly, I guess. I will pass here. This is a bunch of disruption, uh, which should be rather tough to deal with. Uh, but I 
think our opponent's probably on, you know, something not too serious. Um, me click net beast. Me mill to me negate spell. <clears throat> it's just that easy. <laughs> mill both hand traps. Uh, uh, um. Oh, Dark Lord Nurse Reficure. This is another very, very nostalgic card for probably a lot of people in Nurse Barn who remembers. Um, set three. Oh. Um. <clears throat> I think we just, yeah, we just click negate on, you know, the spell because we have a net beast up. Um. But I'm thinking that we end phase pop the Nurse Reficure. I am sensing a bit of tomfoolery. Okay, so, you know, both players lose a thousand. Draw one, but the card's revealed. Sets the popper up. This is only main phase, yeah. And we... Braver, send Earphon. Uh, we target the Nurse Reficure. I'm, I'm sensing uh, a bit of, you know, tomfoolery happening here. Uh, so we pop the Nurse Reficure. There's like no real way where we get like, you know, triple gift carded here since we know the last set card. Um, but uh, I'm, you know, I'd rather not take those chances when I can avoid them. So, uh will be going ahead and doing that. Uh, I mean, this is just game on board, right? That's not really, not really bad reaction to Samochi. Uh, there was, you know, some silly stuff about to happen and a pathway to destiny. Both pass to destiny, both players lost a coin. If the players resolve heads, they gain 2,000. If they resolve tails, they take 2,000. Which one was mine? I mean, to be fair, with the with the Samochi up, I just you know lose anyways. Um, I think we just you know put another body onto the board and make an access code talker. Uh, since that way we should have game on board. Uh, we'll just you know force the popper up. Uh, we still have the Nat Beast. Could also make this with the access, uh, do do this with the with the access code talker, um, but this is just like you know, both ways work out the same. In the one way, I still have to mill the two with a Nat Beast. Um, this way, I just you know, could have just access banished the unicorn and popped the back row. Well then. Onwards to victory. That is game. That was, I mean, to be fair, we went like first with a crazy hand against what's probably a bot deck um, or like a deck that, or rather against uh, a deck that probably wasn't, you know, supposed to be winning it big. Um, probably take a quick look at this. Um, yeah, this is, um, yeah. Yeah, um, this does look like Nurse Burn, <laughs> or what, you know, modern Nurse Burn would look like anyways. Um, let's try for another game. Uh, as mentioned, you know, trying with like a lower game per count per episode, but maybe leaving in more of, you know, the good stuff. Outside of, you know, me just uh, getting like Ash impermed into oblivion. Going first again here, um, prop. Probably, I mean, that's, that's decent, you know, we can still work with that. Um, it's a bit awkward, uh, since, you know, as mentioned earlier, um, I'm not playing enough links to, like, fully uh, utilize, you know, telephone machine dupe combos, uh, which usually isn't a big deal, since uh, you can summon a couple telephones in defense and try and dig for a cell phone. Um, we just need to hope that this machine duplication resolves, which is like the one thing. Uh, otherwise, 
I mean, otherwise, with a bit of luck, we could make Link Reborn a Churia Beast pass. And there's an Ash Blossom. Well, do we risk it or do we just make Link Rebo pass? Um, I think, uh, to be fair, there's like literally nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we, we try and gamble it a bit, um, get a, get it a bit twisted, you know? Uh, we can repair unit here. Send the boomboxen. Watch this be like one of those games where I play against like the literal only deck that you know has like zero OTK ca capabilities. Watch this be like Exorcist or something. <laughs> Um, to be fair, could also make Musashi here, which isn't too terrible. That way I'm not only sitting on like a Link Karibo. I'm thinking about it. Do I maybe want to make like Musashi here? And then just, um, chill? Maybe have like a telephone left for like a follow-up turn, depending on how much of the board lives. Uh, or do I say, you know, may I O take me to victory? Mm. I guess we just fuck around and find out. Um, this really is like, you know, difficult situation since the hand wasn't great or like, what do you mean the hand was not great? Um, it's not necessarily easy for, you know, builds like mine that don't play many links to work off of machine duping telephone. Um, funnily enough, we can equip the life extreme to the Musashi since uh, this equips to any Earth Synchro Monster. Uh, not only a power tool monster, but yeah, I guess we just hope this does it. Or we find something crazy off the top. Um, also, you know, of course, granted that uh, our opponents on, you know, nothing too crazy. Which is, uh, in a lot of the cases, you know, the actual win condition. Ah, uh, Sprite, that is a problem. Okay, I have blue in hand, so like, Nat Beast doesn't really, you know, do a whole lot here. Since, uh, just goes uh, blue for red and then you can, you know play for however much uh, he wants. Damn, the whole gang is here. <laughs> uh, we can go for Sprite Spell Trap here, Gamma Burst. Oh, damn, we're actually playing Gamma Burst. That's pretty sick. That is pretty sick. How much does that increase again? 2400, right? No, it's 1400. 1400. That's such a weird like number. Sprint, what do we send off Sprint? Hopefully not Merly. <laughs> as long as, it not, uh, as it's not Merly. But I think this probably will just be a Nimble Angler that we send here. Yep, there's a Nimble Angler. And then we summon, I think, uh, two Nimble Beavers. Or like an Angler and a Beaver. I don't know. Probably is like no optimal way to summon these Nimble Monsters out of the deck. Um, yeah, it's two Beavers just, you know. We take the free material. Makes a gigantic probably with the sprint and the nimble beaver. Yep. So the gigantic has doubled attack. And we can detach one to summon a level two. Swap frog, yep, swap frog, dump another frog. Probably we'll just dump another swap frog, right? Oh, Ro it's true. Ronin is legal in MD, but Toad is banned, and in the TCG, it's the other way around. Yeah, okay. I, for a moment, I was, you know, forgetting that this isn't the TCG that this is Master Duel. Um, 
But I think, uh, you know, these, these format confusions are, like, a, a common thing at this point. Where it's like, oh, you know... Especially since, like, the Master Duel ban list is, like, so different in terms of, you know, what it hits and addresses to uh, the usual TCG lists. You know, Master Duel ban lists are, of course, you know, more common. That's why they're a bit more tame. Uh, almost akin to, like, uh, OCG ban lists sometimes, you know. But, oh, this is not looking great. So, yeah, we're banishing the Swap Frog here for the Ronin Toad in. Summoning the Toad back. Mm, we are certainly in a lot of trouble here. Ooh, we're making Soul Sweeper. That's such a sick card. That is such a sick card. I have like a bunch of these lying around because I opened like a ton of bark for the Dynamorphia cards. But yeah, such a sick rank too, honestly. Gives like sprites such a like nice toolbox toolbox exist to make to just like remove a big idiot, which is you know usually what the deck struggled with. Uh, probably won't even like negate the Link Rebo here, right? Just lets the Link Rebo go. Because, uh, you know, firing Gamma Burst probably just, you know, does it anyways. Because this is like 1400 on every monster. Yeah, there's like a 46 Gigantic, so, you know, this is like more than enough to uh, dome me here for game. And there it goes. <laughs> ah, that's how the cookie crumbles, you know? That is how the cookie crumbles. But at least we got a win in, uh, even if that one was, uh, you know, kind of a freebie. Uh, one coin toss, uh, no hand traps. It's just that easy. But uh, as mentioned, you know, I want to try this with like a couple less games where I can leave in more of, you know, me just, you know, rambling about on, you know, how to combo and uh, what my thoughts are. And let me know in the comments down below if you think this is like, you know, a good change or, you know, how this is something you might enjoy going forward because you know from here on out it's gonna get tougher so you know might as well when initially i kind of swept the people that wanted some more you know explanations under the rug uh, maybe those people can you know now have their moment and uh, get some more you know food for thought in um by you know getting those explanations and uh seeing the combos more fleshed out but yeah, let me know what you think of this new format for the Moftronic Rank Grind in the comments down below. This is always, you know, as mentioned, I think, uh, in a video that uh, went up today when I'm recording this in the Shinobird video. Um, it always helps me to hear your input because at the end of the day, you know, the videos need to be watchable for you guys. But uh, yeah, that aside, I will thank you guys very much for watching, just as always, and see you guys again next time. But until then, goodbye.